Hey there, young apprentices. Sensei Mike here once again, and welcome to lesson three of our virtual classes. Today, we're going to slow things down just a little bit and focus on our footwork. Now guys, footwork can sometimes seem slow and boring, and because of this, many students will skip it. But a superior martial artist always undoubtedly has superior footwork. So whether you want to win in future sparring matches when you get a little bit higher in belts, or in sword competitions right here in class, you must first master your footwork. It's how we make sure that we can hit without being hit ourselves. If you want to be a good knight, if you want to be a good ninja, or even a good power ranger, uh, this all begins with good footwork. So let's pr practice our calm, cool, and collectiveness and our dedication to the arts by being strict and patient with our footwork today. Because today's lesson is going to be an important one for your next lesson, which I'm really excited about and I'm confident is going to be your favorite yet. So let's get started. Booga! Apprentices, welcome to virtual class day three. I'm very proud of you guys for working towards your goals of getting your next belt in June. Remember, we are still on that track together, regardless as to whether or not we're training at home or in the gym. But obviously, I hope to see you here soon. Let's get started. Tension. Back. Good job. Legs double shoulder width apart. Let's do that big squat with me. My count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Back straight. Four, five, six, seven. Rear end goes below the knees. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Big jumps, knees to chest. Remember to explode through. Get as high as you can, your knees as high as you can, because this is what you're going to use in purple and blue belt to get those high jumps for those jump kicks. Ready? One, two. Push-ups are all the way up and all the way down. My count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, spin around, feet in front of you. Sit-ups are all the way down and all the way up. My count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine. And ten. Good job. All right, legs straight, light, bounce at the knees. Remember to actually bounce with this. Sometimes I see you guys being lazy, just looking at your toes, sitting there doing nothing. We want to bounce so that we actually stretch out for those kicks. Light bounce at the knees. My count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shins. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Ankles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab for the toes. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straddle. Hit that center. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. To the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand it up. All right, left hand to the sky and then across the body and pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same hand, same sky behind the head. Pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same hand, same sky goes across the body and pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Same hand, same sky behind the head and pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's see that fighting stance. All right, kiddos, you know the idea right now. Movements are right here on the side. Let's get to shadow boxing. Purple belts, shadow box your heart out. Everybody else, your first upper body movement on my count. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Purple belts, keep going. Everybody else, your second upper body movement for white belts. That's cross. Let's get it out there. Hands out. Fingers out of your mouth. My count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Job. Third upper body movements for white belts. That's up. We got it all right here. Keep going. Shadow boxing. Purple belts. Remember to breathe each time. Shh, shh, shh. Even if you're at home. My count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. First move with the rear leg, that first move, you see it on the left list, white belts have that rear knee step kick for yellow belts, rear leg, my count, ready, one, two, three, four. Five, purple belts if I'm going too fast. Six, throw that kick every other move. Seven, rewind it and do it over to get your full 10 reps. Eight, just because you're further along. Nine, and your moves are harder. And 10, doesn't mean you do half the work. All right, moving on to that same move with the lead leg. Lead leg and a step through where it applies. List is right here. Let's see if my count ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nine. 
10. All right, we're back to the rear leg. Second move, rear leg. List is right here. White belts have rear round kick. Get those tornado kicks ready. Purple belts, my count ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Before we get to take a break, same move with the lead leg and the step through. Hands are still up, making sure that you're breathing. Get ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Job, young apprentices. Take a break, get a drink, then let's move on to our footwork drills. Boom! All right, kids, welcome back. First of all, if you don't already have your curriculum by your side, go ahead and hit pause and grab that. You should always have your curriculum during these virtual lessons. They're just a really good reference point in case you get lost or you forget a combination. Um, you don't want to get lost because I can't slow down for you when I can't see you. So take the time, go ahead and grab your curriculum right now because we're moving on to footwork. Now, like with most things with footwork, we're going to start very basic and we're going to compound those lessons to get more and more complicated. So even though footwork might be considered a little bit boring for us because it's so basic, so simple, it's important that you do the beginning stuff so that you are on track and ready to go for the more advanced stuff that we're going to be doing later. We're going to focus on one piece of footwork per curriculum. So check it out. I've listed them out for you right here. You guys get it? It's pretty simple, right? So what we're going to do is just count those out like we do in our shadow boxing at the beginning of class. Very basic, very simple. And before we get started, it shouldn't be mentioned that higher belts notice if you have more defensive moves over footwork at your part of your curriculum that we've actually added some footwork in there. So if you didn't see that, take the time to 
go back and take a little bit of a closer look because blue belts are not just cover, it's a step slide advance with the cover, while high blue, blue belts are not just bob and weave, but they're bob and weave with the side step. So if you didn't get that, take the time to scrub back a little bit, make sure that you see it and you're doing it correctly as we count them out now. All right, young apprentices, sorry about the noise. I don't know what that sound is, but I got deadlines to do. So let's go for it because we can't wait. Tension, bow. Fighting stands. All right, we're just doing that basic piece of footwork. In and out, nothing else. My count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Good job, pretty simple, pretty basic, so we can go right through that pretty quickly. Tension, back, good job, let's move on to the next piece. All right, kids, we're gonna count them out again in a similar fashion that we did last time, but this time, you're going to add any upper body movement from your curriculum that you want. It could be a lead hand, it could be a rear hand, it doesn't matter to me. As you enter in, you're going to throw one upper body movement from your curriculum and then retreat right afterwards. It looks kind of like this. Now guys, this is our first step in our hit, don't be hit philosophy. The idea is to get in, make a strike, and get out with be without being hit yourself. You can see that this is important not only in sparring, but you can see it's also important in weapons play, like in my tournament. So it's a very important attribute that you want to master. Let's get it counting. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Purple belts, since you don't have any set moves, you have shadow boxing, use any movement you want from the lower belts. So you're not bound by anything. You just have to use one of the upper body movements from one of your lower belts. All right, moving right along. Tension, back, fighting stands. All right, we're doing a piece of footwork in, throwing any upper body move from our curriculum, then using that footwork to get out. Purple belts, I don't want you to stick on the same move. Different move every time from a different level. Get ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good job, all right, let's line it up. Tension, back, good. Let's move on to the next reps. All right, now most of you know where I'm going with this. If you've been with me for a while, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna count it out just like as we did before, but this time you get to pick a lower body move, any lower body movement you want. Um, as long as it's on your curriculum, you can do it. Uh, it could be lead, it could be rear, it doesn't matter to me. It looks kind of like this. Now remember, those are just my ideas. You don't have to do the same kick that I did just because I showed it to you. You can do any kick you want in your curriculum. That's why you have to have your curriculum next to you so that you could see what you're able to do. Now Purple Belts, unlike last time, you do have curricularized movements. So I want you to make sure that you're using a Purple Belt kick as you move in and you move out. All right, let's do this. Tension, bow. Fighting stance, all right, this time we're moving in, throwing a lower body move, front or back leg, doesn't matter, it has to be from our curriculum, my count, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good job, guys. Line it up, tension. Back. All right, let's work on this last thing and then we can get to this virtual game I've created you. Go! All right, kiddos, the last thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna give you three minutes to work combination number two. Three minutes for combination number two. So just like we did a step slide advance and then any movement we want in a step slide retreat, you're gonna fit your combination number two between those pieces of footwork, whatever they were for you and your level. So you do your advancing, combination number two, and your retreat. Here's a good example using white belt. Now guys, if you need an example of what your combination number two looks like, here is a refresher that we did earlier last week, combo two. All right, guys, so with that being said, we're going to give you three minutes to work on that combination. Remember, that first piece of footwork gets you in, throw combination number two, then get out with that second piece of footwork that we've been working in all class. This way, we're not just sitting there throwing the combinations and standing there hoping that it worked, right? We don't wanna be stuck in the mud. We, we get in with our footwork, we throw our moves, our combinations, we get out with our footwork so we're nice and safe. Get ready, three, two, one, a go!
today's game is pretty easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swing my sword right at you. Shapoom! And your goal is to not get hit by this sword. Before this sword comes down, I want you to use your footwork, footwork, boom, to move back or to the side, depending on what your footwork is. Then you use your footwork to move back in, and then you throw combination number two right at my face. So once again, I'm going to throw nice and slow. You're going to move out of the way using your footwork. Hands are still up. After the blade passes, now I'm exposed. So I want you to use your footwork to come in and throw that combination number two, just like you practiced in your three minute round, okay? We're gonna do two or three rounds of this. First round's gonna be pretty slow, but guess what? I'm gonna speed it up, all right? Are you guys ready? Round one, fight! Hands are up, you're ready to go. Boom! Did you get it? Move back, move forward, and hit. See it again, you ready? Boom, good, did you move back? Move in and do that combination. All right, now that you got the hang of it, I'm gonna start changing the direction of my blade. Boom. Good, throw that combination. Boom. Throw that combo. Ah. Good, throw that combo. Perfect. Ha! Ha! All right, that's the end of round one. Let's move on to round two where things are gonna get a little bit crazier. All right, kiddos, this is round two. This time I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Let's see who gets cut and doesn't. Are you ready? Get started. All right, good job. How many did you get? How many did you miss? Let's move on to the last and most difficult round. Round number three. All oh, right, we're in round number three. Things are gonna get pretty hectic here. Make sure you're using your footwork to move back. Come in, throw that combination number two. Okay, you guys ready? It's gonna be a big one. Huh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Not bad, young apprentices. Let me know how many you got hit with through this whole game and how many that you got out of the way of. Hopefully this helped you learn not only your footwork, but combination number two. All right, let's line it up. Okay, young apprentices, I hope that you are enjoying these virtual classes as much as I enjoy making them for you. They're so much fun. It allows me to be creative in a different way and think of new ways to teach you that I never thought of, thought of before. So I think that this is going to help you guys become better students, better martial artists, and it's also going to help me to become a better teacher. Remember, this Friday, we are scheduling a FaceTime with each one of you guys, if you wanted, to do a private lesson. It's only gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes long, um, but it's going to be one-on-one -on -one with you guys this coming Friday so that I can see you face-to-face. -face. I can give you guys some helpful tips on how to make your kicks better, your combinations work well, um, all of that stuff. And that'll help me to check in with you guys so I can know what we need to work in on with future virtual uh, classes. So very good job today, tension. Back. All right, class, let's, let's, let's get those virtual high fives going. Virtual high fives going. Oh, somebody virtually punched me in the gut. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like that much. Good job, guys. Miss you. I'll see you next time.